All right, so here's what we're gonna be working on today. We're gonna be working on doors. All right, so I saw a couple of tutorials online. Um, I, I just, I think maybe we can make a good one here. So we're gonna give that a shot. All right, so as you can see, we have some doors here. Our player can't go through them. We have a button over here. We shoot the button. The doors open, a, open nice. We've got a nice animation there. Uh, and of course, we shoot the button again and they close. And you can see as we're, the doors are opening and closing, it doesn't matter if we're shooting it, uh, it's not gonna change. Okay, let me show you how to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of our game. And we're gonna go ahead and start off by creating a new scene here. And into our new scene, we're going to make this a, a node 2D. Make sure you make it a node 2D. If you make it a node, it won't work and you'll have to redo your video. Uh, into our node, we're gonna go ahead and call this doors. I'm sorry, door scene. Actually, you know what, I already have that. We're gonna call this door example. So I don't screw up my game. Into this, we're gonna go ahead and add a child node. We're gonna add a static body 2D. We're going to add a sprite. And we're gonna go ahead, oh. and we're also gonna go ahead and add a kinematic body. Sorry, we're not gonna add a kinematic body 2D. We're gonna add a collision shape 2D. All right. Static body TD, we're gonna call this, uh, let's call this left door. Sprite and collision shape, you can just leave those as is. Into our sprite, we're gonna drag in a door. And I already have some example, an example door, an example door button. Um, I, used, I used Inkscape to make it. You can go ahead and do it however you want though. Um, and you can see just for the example here, we're using some real, real simple textures or some real simple shapes. Obviously make it as fancy or not fancy as you want. The key in this one is just make sure that they are about the same color or pretty close to the same color. That'll be important later. All right, moving on here, collision shape. We're gonna go ahead and make this a rectangle. And of course, you know what to do. Go ahead and make the rectangle about the same size. That looks terrible. Let's turn off grid snapping to get that a little bit more, a little bit more better there. Okay. Now that we have our door, uh, just as, as a heads up here, we can now, actually let's go ahead and lock this guy down so they are all together. Okay. This door here, we can rotate it. However, it rotates around this central pivot point, right there. If that's how you want your door to, to rotate, that's awesome. Uh, looks like a secret door or something. Pretty cool. I don't want my door to rotate there. I want my door to open, what do we say, left. So we're, first off, we're gonna uncheck that. We're gonna grab these two guys and we're gonna move these way over here. So now we see our, our pivot point, it's gonna pivot around this axis now, which is just the way I want it. So now I'm gonna go back into rotate here. You see, okay, rotates around that axis. It's gonna open kind of like a regular door, which I want. Keep in mind here, we wanna rotate this door upwards. We can see right now that's a rotation degree of negative 90. Keep that in mind. Okay, we're gonna add our button now. So we're gonna, from the example door, we're gonna add an, an area 2D. And into this, we are also gonna add a sprite. And we are also going to add nothing. Yep, that's it. Oh, I'm sorry, we had a collision shape. Collision shape 2D. And we're gonna call this button. Okay, our sprite, so we're gonna drag in our example button here. What's a big example button? Our collision shape, actually, you know what, let's move all of this stuff off for now. We're gonna put these guys down over here. It doesn't really matter, we're gonna be moving them around independently in the game later, just as long as they're in the same scene. 
Got our sprite. We're now going to go ahead and add our collision shape. We're going to add a circle. And yeah, it looks good. Good enough. We'll make it nice and big for the example. Okay, perfect. We're going to add one last child node here, and it's going to be a tween. Tween. There we go. And we can just leave these labeled as is. All right, and with that, it is done. Of course, if you want to go in later and add more doors like we saw earlier, um, doors that open left and right or other ways, throw them in here. Not going to hurt it at all. Uh, if you want, I can show you how. This is the basic, basic setup, though. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory to, to mod it out from here. All right, our button, make sure that we can't select its children independently. And just here's the key to making this structure work is we have the node 2D um, as our, our base node. And as children, we have the left door as a child and we have the um, area 2D as a child. So the static body, the left door as a child, the area 2D or in this case, the button as a child and we have our tween. Our left door has a sprite and a collision shape. Our button or the area 2D here has a sprite and a collision shape. That's the structure you want. Perfect. We're gonna add a uh, some code here. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with kind of the meat and potatoes of it. We're gonna go into our area over here, our button 2D, and we want to go body entered. We're gonna connect this signal, this signal here. And on our body entered, we're gonna do a couple of things. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add two variables. We're going to add an on ready bar called tween. And that's just our tween node. Perfect, we're gonna add one more variable called closed and this is a Boolean. In our ready function, we want to identify that our door is closed. So we're gonna set our door closed to true. Okay, great. All right, down here in our um, body button entered here, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna say if closed equals true, we, we want to open the door. We're gonna do that with our tween. We're gonna go tween dot interpolate property. And we want to open the left door node. We want to modify the rotation degrees property. So rotation degrees. All right. We want to take it from zero degrees to negative 90 degrees. Remember from earlier, we want to do this over the course of two seconds. So we're gonna use tween dot Trans, you know, let's go for trans elastic because it's kind of it's kind of spiffy looking. And we're gonna go ease in, ease out, ease in, out. Perfect. Our tween is now done, and we're gonna go and start it. Tween dot start. Looks good. Okay. Now to close the door, we're gonna go and reverse this. So we're gonna say if the door is not closed, then it must be open. So we're just gonna do an else here. You know, in my example, I have an else if. So we're gonna do that. Else if closed equals false. We're gonna go tween dot, you know, I don't wanna rewrite this whole thing out. We're just gonna copy and paste, which is a little bit dangerous because if you've done it wrong, <laughs> it's like errors are gonna propagate. Okay, so we're gonna take this time, we're gonna take it from negative 90 to zero, and again, we wanna do that over about two seconds. Perfect. And again, we're gonna go ahead and start our tween, tween dot start. Oh, and we left out one thing up here. So once our door, our door was closed, closed is true, so we're gonna now set closed equal to false. And down here at the bottom, we're gonna reset closed to true. Great, looks good. 
in our function process here, we're going to update a couple things. First one, we're going to say if the tween dot is active equals true. So if the tween is playing, we're going to go ahead and disable our um, area 2D. We're going to disable our button. So we're going to do area, oh, we call this button, didn't we? Button collision shape dot disabled equals true and else. So if the, if the tween is not active, then we're going to re-enable our button and we're going to say just the same thing. Button area collision shape 2D dot disabled equals false. So it is not disabled. Okay, and with that, we should have the bones of our uh, the bones of our tween here. Of course, you know we talked about earlier. If you want to do multiple doors, it would be basically the same thing. You would just copy this left door formula. We would plug in something that looks like that, except we would call it, you know, hopefully you would call it right door, and we would go from zero to ninety. That's that's as easy as it is. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's get rid of this one here. And let's go check it out, and I'll show you kind of the kicker of this, kind of this modular system here, because, like I said, I think it's kind of spiffy. Okay, we're going to save our scene. I'm going to put it in level pieces, door example, perfect. Save. I have a test level. Let's go ahead and drag our new door in here. Door example. We'll stick it there. Ooh, that's bigger than I thought. That's what she said. Okay, let's go ahead and run this and we'll see how it works out here. Oh, so okay, we're gonna have to actually physically go over it. Okay, so you see once we physically go over the piece here, it crashes. Why does it crash? That is not what I wanted. Oh, tween.start, boom, boom. Okay, crisis averted. Oh, and you know what, as long as we're muck mucking around with it, we're gonna do one more thing. For example, button, I'm gonna change the collision layer for me because I want it to interact with the player and I also want it to, I want my weapons to affect it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and run this guy again. Great, now when we shoot it, boom, it opens up and it'll smack the player. <laughs> Funny. Okay, opens up and closes. And of course, if you want to mess around with, you know, how your doors open and close, super easy. Here's the kicker for this whole thing though. Uh, actually, there's, there's two aspects which I like. One, let's go to door example. We're gonna right click, we're gonna go down to editable children, editable. And we're gonna grab our button here. We can now move our button wherever we want in the scene. It's not gonna change anything. Let's go ahead and shrink. We're gonna shrink the scale down a little bit, just get it all on the screen too. Um, yeah, so we can move this guy all over, not gonna change anything. It is still gonna work when we run our scene. Perfect. Go over, of course you can change, <laughs> you can change um, the layering and all that. Great. Door works, it's hooked up to our button. Here is the last little slick little bit. Door example, you know, we're gonna go ahead and bring in another one here and we'll stick it, I don't know, we'll stick it over here, why not? And I'm gonna shrink this guy down as well. Scale 9.5, great. Oh, we shrunk everything, cool. Okay, same deal, editable children. Uh, I wanna drag my button around over here our buttons are different scales, so that's nice. You can tell them apart. However, in our game here, let's go to our first. Oh, we made it a child. Don't make it a child. Okay, and edit children. Okay, so even then, I move stuff around. You might not know which is which right now. I certainly don't. Okay, our first door here. We're gonna to go to visibility, and because we made this kind of a neutral color and kind of the same color, we're gonna to go to modulate, and I want a blue door. 
because every good adventure should have a blue door. Perfect. These are now blue. We're going to go into our second door and we're going to make them red because every good example should have a, I'm sorry, every good RPG should have a red door. I'm also super colorblind, so I'm kind of just guessing on the colors here. They might be purple or green or some other color. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and check it out here. Now when we run our scene, it look pretty good to me. We have what is obviously a red button and what is obviously a red door, and we can close them independently. Oops. So I think that's pretty spiffy. So, all right, those are kind of some easy doors. Uh, and like I said, if you want to mess around with the code at all, um, just definitely go for it. The best thing with tweens is just to, you know, just get in there, check it out. We had translastic, translastic, let's change this to trans, let's do bounce, let's see what bounce looks like. Run a scene again. Oh, that's kind of cool. That looks like a stuck door or something. Did you see that? Huh, <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's struggling to get open. It's an old rusty door. Cool. Anyway, uh, I hope that helps, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. All right, take care. Bye.